Today in our 2013 Dodge Charger, we're going to be installing the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with the 4-Pole Flat Trailer Connector, part number C56135. Now first we're going to need to open up the trunk of the vehicle. First we're going to need to remove this rear scuff panel or the center threshold here that goes across the trunk area right here. To do that, you'll simply just lift outward and up and it'll release the tabs. Go ahead and set that aside for now. Next we're going to need to remove a couple fasteners here that help hold this felt area in place or this trunk lining in place. We need to get back in behind this to our tail light connector. Now this middle fitting here, you have to kind of get the center plastic screw to back out so that it'll allow you to pull the fastener out. Now right here is the fitting or the plug that we're going to be disconnecting. Now here's the wiring harness that we'll be adding in on our car. Over here on the driver's side we'll need to find the connectors. One's green and white. and It'll have a brown, a yellow, and a red wire going to it. So we'll go ahead and peel back the interior here. We'll reach in. We'll squeeze in on the locking tab on the top. So this little tab right here is the locking tab. You push that in. So now we'll go ahead and take our T-connector, plug the factory harness into the one side of it, making sure you hear it click or snap into position. Then take the other side and plug it on into the back side of the tail light assembly. It'll be like that. Next we're going to go ahead and take a paper towel with a little bit of rubbing alcohol on it. We're going to clean the back of our converter box. As well as the area in here that we're going to adhere our uh, box to the body. Right up underneath here is a pretty good area. Go ahead and wipe that down to make sure there's no dirt or debris or grease or anything that might happen to be on it to keep the two-sided tape from sticking. We'll then take our two-sided tape that comes with the kit, peel the one side off, add it to the back side of the box. Then go ahead and make sure we got our area where we want it. Somewhere up in there. And go ahead and peel the other side off. Then push the box firmly to the body. Next we're going to need to take our white wire with the ring terminal on it. This is the ground. We're going to need to attach that to a metal portion inside the trunk area here using the self-tapping screw supplied with the kit. We can then go ahead and take the four flat wiring for now and just set that into the trunk area where the spare tire would be located. We'll then need to route the black wire with the red fuse holder connected to it over towards the battery which is located right here on the passenger side as well as our other T connector that has the red and the green wire connected to it. Now over here on the passenger side we'll again have to remove this fastener right here as well as this one right here to gain access to the wiring behind the passenger side tail light assembly. Go ahead then and Peel back the felt. Right there is our connection point over here on the passenger side. So we'll again need to squeeze the locking tab in order to undo it from the back of the tail light assembly. So here's our connector.
Go ahead and route our T connector up into place. We can go ahead and connect it in the back side of the tail light. Again, you want to make sure that you hear the locking tabs fully engage or click into position. Now with that done, we can go ahead and put the felt back in place and the fasteners on the passenger as well as the driver's side. Go ahead and use a couple little zip ties that come with the kit to help secure the wire as it runs across the threshold area. We're just going to go ahead and use the zip ties to attach our wires to some existing wiring. Then come back and trim off any excess zip tie. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the battery cover or lift it up out of the way. You then need to get into this fuse box right here. To do that, you'll simply push in on the tab and lift up on the cover. Now, this vehicle does have quite a few extra things already added to it, so there's some additional wiring that you may see that you probably won't have in your particular vehicle. Now we're going to be adding this in right here to the stud right here. So now we're going to go ahead and remove the nut. The nut removed, we'll go ahead and add our, our wire in line as well. Now that we have our wire connected, Go ahead and add our 10 amp fuse that comes with the kit to the fuse holder. Go ahead and put that all the way in. Once that's in place, you can go ahead and cover it up. Now we'll go ahead and take a couple zip ties, secure our wire here. And then put the fuse cover back on. Go ahead and trim off any excess zip tie. We can go ahead and put our battery cover back in place as well. Then we can go ahead and take our center threshold piece, push that back in place as well. Now the kit does come with a dust cap. Simply slide it over the four flat. So when you're not using your four flat, it'll help protect the connector. Now we're ready to go ahead and test our four flat. We're just gonna use a, a test light to do that. So we'll take the ground on our test light, connect it to the open prong on our four flat, which is the white wire, that's the ground. Now with our running lights on, we'll touch the brown wire circuit. That works. We'll go ahead and turn the left blinker on. We'll touch the yellow wire. For the right turn signal, we'll touch the green wire. And for the brakes, we'll touch the yellow and the green. As you can see here, all of our functions are working just fine. Now when you're ready to use your four flat wiring, you'll simply pull it out of the trunk area. Keep it away from the center latch area as this could easily damage the wire. But yet put it on the area where there's the rubber weather stripping so that when you close the trunk down, the four flat wiring will push in on the weather stripping and will not damage it. Now you're ready to hook up to your trailer. 
When you're done using your four flat wiring, simply put the dust cover back in place, open the trunk back up, and you can coil your wire up and store it down here in the area where the spare tire would be. And with that, that'll do it for our installation of the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number C56135 on our 2013 Dodge Charger.